They came on this Patriot Day to hear the miraculous story of a U.S. airman who survived a roadside bomb in Afghanistan during the Gulf War. U.S. Air Force Master Sergeant Israel Del Toro Jr. placed his hand over his heart. On December 4, 2005, Del Toro's life would change forever. He was on a mission in Afghanistan when his Humvee was struck by an IED. But the flames overtook me and I collapsed and I'm laying there. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna die here. 80% of his body was burned and he was only given a 15% chance of survival. Losing his own parents at age 14, Del Toro, or DT, was reminded that he had a son and a wife at home, which brought him through it. And you don't give up. Don't give up, brother. Trust me, all your son wants is his dad. After waking up from a coma four months later, he knew what he had to do to survive once again. And two months after they told me, you know, gave me that diagnosis of never walk again and, you know, be in the hospital another year and a half. I left that hospital walking and breathing on my own, so I beat those odds. Despite his hands being severely disfigured, DT took to the track and field. He was introduced to sports for rehabilitation. His determination paid off, winning several awards, including the Pat Tillman Award for Service and an ESPY. And I owned three world records in shot with discus and javelin for my classification. Uh, and I have won numerous other medals, you know, Medals that they make these games, you know, the, the competition they have, Prince Harry. He said the key to life is to never give up. People that reach out to me and tell me, Sergeant Tor, I was about to end it all. And I heard how you didn't give up, how you found your spark, your spirit to never give up. And it motivated me to continue to fight. And that's when it hits me, it's like, holy cow, people do see me in this light. Using his own perseverance, DT became the first 100% combat disabled Air Force technician to re-enlist in the military in 2010. And now he's teaching others. Master Sergeant DT went on to become a motivational speaker. He was encouraged by General Mosley. Del Toro is proudly featured in a Portraits of Courage book of America's warriors painted by President George Bush Jr. Really captured my, my spirit, my eyes especially, that's what my my family says that he really caught your eyes and your spirit of who you are. So it was pretty cool seeing that, you know. While Del Toro said he was personally angry about the 9-11 attack back then, he looks at it differently now. It's like my story, you know, I don't let my spirit break just of a, because of an incident. I continue to fight, keep, keep pushing forward because the American spirit is alive and well and will never give up. After his speech, the Southern Utah Veterans Home staff honored him with a framed American flag. He hung around for pictures with other patriots and admirers. Daughters of the American Revolution brought cakes in remembrance of the fallen, honoring those who had served and educating about the importance of patriotism in the future. On Patriots Day, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.